Uh, a, a quote from General Douglas MacArthur that I have uh, carried around, I, I used to have taped to my mirror, um, I think I'd identifies those characteristics. Uh, General MacArthur said a leader must have the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make the tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to the needs of others. He does not set out to become a leader, but becomes one by the equality of his actions and the integrity of his intent. So I guess to me that summarizes uh, confidence, courage, compassion, and integrity. Um, I think perhaps this relates back to, um, uh, I think, avoid thinking you have uh, all the answers. Um, uh, or, uh, and in that regard, telling folks what they need to, to do before you, hear, before you hear them out. I think listening uh, is a very um, diminishing and often underrated skill. And uh, I think, in my observation, effective uh, leaders um, take the time to listen, uh, avoid snap decisions, but wait until they get as much information as they can. We, you know, we at some point a decision has to be made. Uh, I understand that, but with whatever time you have, it's important to get uh, input uh, from others. In, in my political uh, endeavors before coming to this office, I um, uh, on two occasions ran against uh, incumbents, and those were uh, uh, challenging times. And what it what you have to realize is you can't do it by yourself. You've got to engage other people in the cause and the mission, whether it's a political campaign. A charitable uh, endeavor uh, or the workplace, you can't do it by yourself and you have to take the time to get others uh, engaged and motivated and believing uh, that uh, you can accomplish whatever it is you're setting out to do, whether it's a, a fundraiser for a charitable organization or a, a trial or a political campaign, you must engage others to help. I don't know if there is a, a single uh, a best thing. I, um, I do think being re being a reader and being able, I mean being willing to spend the time uh, uh, reading and being well read. Um, the, the masters, um, um, good, good fiction, uh, good um, biographies, good autobiographies. I think it's important to be well read that you're exposed to a um, broad spectrum of thoughts uh, and ideas, uh, which I think then helps you be open uh, with other folks and, and to listen and to engage people. Um, you know, I, I, that is a that is a, a, a great question, and, and I may not be answering it in the in the spirit of, of how you intended it, but I, I do think being being an avid reader uh, uh, plays a role. Being a listener uh, plays a role, and um, at some point, having the courage to to step out and and take that risk. You, um, I tell, I tell young folks um, who are interested in running uh, for public office that, uh, or n newly elected leaders, I congratulate them for being willing to step out and take the risk. So many people say they want to do it, uh, but, it uh, but never do. And I think we've got to encourage folks to, um, at some point, take, take the risk and, and be able to uh, face the possibility of defeat. Um, I mean, you can't really 
uh, enjoy uh, the victory unless you're willing also to face a defeat as well. In, in future leaders, I think uh, I look for um, folks that are willing to, um, to listen, uh, to engage, um, explore new thoughts uh, uh, and ideas, and um, uh, who, um, who, seem, who seem ready to step out and, and take a risk, whether it's a, in their uh, career or some uh, political endeavor or, or in their life. But, um, but I, I really do think, uh, as I said earlier, that, that listening is an underappreciated uh, skill. Um, and I think good leaders have that skill. You know, I think I learn something um, every day, and I think in part it is to continue to to be uh, an observer, uh, to be uh, engaged in uh, conversation with with other folks. Um, and this may not quite fit in, but um, uh, you know, Howard Baker, who was. Uh, a role model for many of us in public life um, uh, and who accomplished so much maintained a degree of humility um, and I think I have overlooked that in answering your other questions I do think uh, most great leaders also have a degree of humility but Howard Baker said he that his father told him to always bear in mind in, in a discussion that the other person might be right. And I think that does link back to what I said earlier about none of us has all the answers. We can learn from others. And you and I may have a disagreement. I should bear in mind with, with humility that you might be right and that I can always learn from you.